For speed limit information function tests, we're measuring the speed and accelerations of our test vehicle, and we've surveyed the precise point of a speed sign location in our test area. What we're validating here is the distance between the vehicle and the sign when it saw the sign, so when it captured a new speed limit information, and then what the vehicle did to adjust its speed and when it adjusted its speed in a new speed zone. We have an RT in our test vehicle that's capturing the position, velocity and accelerations of that test vehicle. And we're capturing data relative to a fixed point that is a speed sign in our test area. We can capture up to 65,000 of these on the open road and validate the longitudinal range value between our vehicle when it sees the sign and when it enters into a new speed zone. We surveyed these points to understand their precise location, uploaded those as a map file into the RT range system and the slip warning system. Here we see the vehicle driving at a fixed speed as it approaches a new speed zone. The RT is used to validate the speed that the vehicle is traveling at, but also the precise location of the speed sign and the position of the vehicle as it approaches a new speed zone. Here we're seeing the vehicle speed being displayed in the head-up display on the system. The RT range system is used as a validation tool for this speed measurement, but also we can, using GPS time, locate precisely where the vehicle was as it started to adjust its speed for the new speed zone. The driver, as with all tests, can monitor data in real time. It's back in the office though, where we're looking at the data in more scrutiny. We can post-process the data using the OXDS application NavSolve, which allows us to export the data and process it forwards and backwards to get really tight accuracies on some of the data points we're interested in. And position and time are the key data variables in a SLIFT test. We want to know precisely what time was it when the vehicle adjusted its speed, synchronize that and link it to the speed alert that came on in the car, and what was our position when we started changing our speed. We referenced that in this test. The accuracy of OXTS systems and that flexible approach to logging the data is one of the reasons our systems have been trusted by automotive engineers for such a long time.